Hi everybody. Please stay tuned to the end of this video. It's my favorite part. The end is the best, I think, <laughs> as you can imagine. So last night I had a dream about all that's going on in the world. And of course, it could be because of a video I've seen or the news I've seen. But just as a review, there's so much going on. People are on IVs. They have things going, running through their veins. There's tracking. There's tracing. There's things going in and out of people's bodies, the antibodies, testing and the swabs and the different medications that are being tested and tried and vaccine trials and all that's going on. And so this is just one of the things that was in the, the news that Apple and Google are starting next month to um, make it possible for certain approved apps run by government health agencies <clears throat> to use the Bluetooth radios to track physical proximity between phones. If someone later receives a positive COVID-19 diagnosis, they re can report it through the app and any users who have been in recent contact with that phone will receive a notification. So interesting times we're in. I think a lot of people have been sleeping, but they're starting to wake up. And part of my dream, I was driving an RV and my husband was the co-pilot and there were people sleeping in the back, but they were starting to wake up and some of them had IVs in and, you know, they were just, they didn't really want to be on camera or whatever, but they were awake and waking up. And, um, you know, our husband can represent Jesus Christ because he is the bridegroom and we are his bride. We are the church. And I know like with Jesus take the wheel, you know, a lot of people are critical of Jesus as my co-pilot and they're like, he should be the pilot. Of course, we know that he is the pilot of everything. He's in control of everything. But like a parent teaching their child to ride a bike, you don't ride the bike for them. You let them steer, you let them drive, and you're there to provide assistance and support. So just like this channel, I think God gives me some freedom to share. Obviously, we, we aren't robots, and He gives us freedom to share what we want to share, but He is there with us. He is our guide, and He can speak through us and help people wake up on this journey in this RV. This is our temporary home here on earth. We're just like in tents and we're traveling through this land and our citizenship is in heaven. Praise the Lord. So I believe God can use this video to wake up Christians or wake up the unbelieving. And so let's move on. So I had in my dream, I was writing on the corner of a foundation, a stone foundation. And it just kind of reminded me of the writings on the wall. God is speaking, the writings on the wall, but also the stone, the precious cornerstone, the firm foundation that we have in this ever-changing world is Jesus Christ. He is our firm, immovable, unshakable foundation with all the earthquakes going on and all the changes in the world. Jesus remains firm. He is our firm foundation. Praise the Lord. He is our precious Savior, and we will not be put to shame. Praise the Lord. I also had a vision of a home plate being nailed. <clears throat> and this picture kind of reminded me of that. It almost looks like a home plate. And it's nailed to the cross. And Jesus has our final destination home, our eternal home, nailed. He has it nailed. It was. It is finished when Jesus died on the cross. Our sins are paid for in full. It is finished. Jesus was nailed to the cross to pay our way to home. Well, again, we are traveling on this earth, but heaven is our home. It's our home plate. It's our final destination. It's our win. It's our victory. We have victory in Jesus because he paid our debts in full. Praise the Lord. And then the Lord brought it back to a just a practical everyday life thing. You know, we're paid in full. Our sins are paid in full. But a lot of people are going through financial crisis right now. And the Lord just reminded me that, you know, we're all in this together. I have people being 
friends that I know being laid off via Zoom, but then I have, you know, relatives that are business owners and they have to figure out a budget somehow. And I heard the Lord say safe budgets, safe budgets and, you know, paid in full could be a a practical thought as well for safe budgets. So I just put this, you know, slide to speak to people have to have budgets that are safe right now with all that's going on in the world because my next dream there is a storm approaching we are kind of already in a storm but the darker clouds were approaching it was starting to rain we had kind of sheltered under a tree but eventually it became apparent that that covering wasn't enough so we're sheltering in our homes right now but even a bigger storm is coming. And so if you watched my video about the rapture and the escape from Sodom, you know that an angel came and grabbed Sodom and his family's hand to get them out of Sodom before God's wrath fell and the sulfur and the fire fell. So in my dream, in the storm, a person representing an angel grabbed my hand and said, get out. And we ran into a building And just, I believe the Lord had this part just to show that it wasn't a building on earth. It didn't represent a building on earth because the first building we ran to, it was kind of dirty, run down, the tables were wet. And so we left that building. It wasn't a building on earth. We went into a nicer room that was just cozy and the lighting was just right and the tables were clean and pretty and It's just such a nice environment and this might throw some people's theology off but it we sat at like it was like a bar with some really beautiful bar stools and there was wine served and Isaiah 25 6 says the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples a banquet of aged wine the best of meats and the finest of wines So I believe that place represented heaven, and it was just like a beautiful family reunion. It was packed, it was warm, it was cozy. It was like that neighborhood place where everybody wants to go, where everybody knows your name kind of thing. (laughs) And we had so many stories to tell, and it was just packed. It was like a reunion, and it was cozy, and it was beautiful, and it was like family. It was just awesome. And we had some fun too. I, I took the football from, um, I hiked it to the person serving behind the counter, and uh, it was just a lot of fun as well. And it just reminds me that we're a team again in the Lord. We're all in this together. We're part of a team. We want people to come to know Jesus and people to grow in the Lord, and we're a team. And we're building that building together. We're like all the other stones where Jesus is the cornerstone and we're all a building together. And um, so that was just a beautiful part. And then um, people were given rewards and awards. And um, again, we had stories to tell, but there was one like pin and it was like an Australia pin. And I know we have some sisters from Australia that do videos here on YouTube. And So everyone will be rewarded, and I just thought of some of the suffering, too, that Australia's gone through with fires and floods and all that kind of thing. And so I was going to look up a verse about suffering, but when I looked up rewards, this is kind of the first thing that came, and it says, Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. Praise the Lord. And so the next... um, slide represents another part of my dream that in that cozy place where we were all gathered there was a donkey and the the man was the donkey he had the body of a man but the the rest of him was a donkey and it reminded me of numbers when god uses a donkey to speak to a man so Um, Not to take it personally if you're a man, but God can speak to you (laughs) if you're a donkey or speak to you through a donkey. (laughs) So that could be me right now. But anyone can be used to carry out 
God's plan. So praise the Lord. He is reaching out in every way he can to everyone um, because he loves. He loves everyone so much. And so this final part, that was a good preface to this part because I did have one more dream that I've been hesitant to share, but it was so beautiful because I saw a wedding from above And it was actually a sister in Christ, and she was celebrating her wedding anniversary by redoing her wedding. And just looking at it from above, it made me think of the rapture, of meeting our Lord in the air, of looking down from above, like our Lord probably sees this view a lot, I could imagine. And... So I'm not a date setter, but I just for fun asked my sister when her anniversary is, Sister in the Lord, and she said it's August 3rd, and I just felt like, you know, perhaps, I'm not going to set any dates, but wouldn't that be beautiful if, you know, before August we're in the air with our Lord, and you might say, well, does your sister know the Lord? Wouldn't she be in the, the air too? And yeah, she would. She'll meet her bridegroom the Lord Jesus in the air. So there could be a dual meaning there. Um, The the church is the bride and we will meet our Lord in the air and we'll have a great wedding feast. Won't it be wonderful, brothers and sisters, my teammates? I love you guys. God bless you. Amen.